be an exciting one. We have a great map pool for this series and a lot of questions to be answered. Rush with his fingers ready for the observing for this one as well. We're going to be getting right into the action, or at least waiting for it a little bit on the ramp. Oh, Mad Lions, they're waiting for aggression. Woxic's going to give it to them. It's a quad peak. You're not going to be ready for that one, Mouse Sports. A Cillian, double opener. Carrigan's going to get a trade, and Frozen will hang around, but he can't do it forever. These Glocks are beginning to move up. Yeah, Mad Lions, they immediately slow it right down. They're sat in this four on at three. I'm a bit out of the loop with skins. I love this skin that Roy has on his Glock. What is this? Someone let me know, please, because I want one. I don't care how much it costs, unless it's over like 50 quid, then I care. The so price isn't an object, but it is also slightly an object. Roy over here towards short, looking to have the rest of the team fall in behind him. Smokes, flashes starting to pour in now. Just double smokes, actually. And that's going to cut off this rotation for Carrigan, who sits up on top of the boost box. He gets naded out of the round, so Frozen's got to do oh, a lot. No. And Asilian is on for the ace in this pistol round. A man who has been around the block in the Danish scene here, about to get the ace versus one of the king IGLs from Denmark. Yeah, it's Rops, though. Look at this guy. He has been a powerhouse. Even in that lost series for Mouse Sports, he was the guy to look for. Unfortunately, oh, that just dropped behind the boxes. Is it inside between that orange box and the, the, the white one? Oh my God, that's so unreal. That's so unfortunate. Robs, he can't do anything about it. No kit, no chance for the defuse. And I mean, all that's going to do is deny Silly and the ace. Ross, let's take a look at that kit. Come on. No way. What? Carrigan, no how have you done that? What's he do? What a blunder. What's he done that for? Oh my. That's irretrievable. It's one thing where guns fall into awkward positions. At least you yeah. can E them. You can't E a kit. How has the kit done that, though? That's like falling through a gap that's it's even too small. Like the nade blows it down. <sighs> yeah. That's and sick, though. I've never seen anything like that before. Yeah, man. That's pretty sick, all right. <laughs> I'm going to vomit. Uh, Rops might, too, because that is not around that he can have any say in. He does, of course, save his full armor. So upgrades the uh, helmet and gets a scout in the second round. Mad Lions. I like that patient pistol waiting on the A ramp, not making any noise while getting there. So Mouse Balls assume it's clear and try and aggress towards it. They walk to their own death. We're going to see a lot of like early defaulting. If you're not rushing A on this map, you are typically just holding to see if the CTs try and get aggressive, try and make those flanks happen. They are very common on the CT side of Vertigo. Pushing mid, for example. Great shot from Robs. He is coming in warm and ready. And this could be a force win. A tag with a scout. Chris has found Innocent. And Mad Lions. Oh, these stairs can be tricky and treacherous at the best of times. Roy's opened up A. That could be the lifeline for Mad Lions. He's got a double and even taking control towards the spawn as well. That bomb is on rotation. Oh, there's a bit of a gap for Waxic to see through here. Roy holding close at CT and Waxic seems very aware of this possibility. However, bomb now tapped. Waxic drawn in by the sound. He goes down. Chris J and Rops now just Rops left standing in this 1v3. Now two of these players are tagged up, but that missed shot there seals his fate. And so it's another 4K in the second round. I actually love that idea. So often do we see teams run up the B stairs, lose the first kill or two, or lose a, the first couple of fights. And then you're like screwed because you're like, well, we don't want to keep committing into what is clearly now a stacked bomb site, but also we have no other control elsewhere. So we have to regain you know, uh, position towards A, towards mid, and Mouse Sports might've even flanked. But in that entire round, Roy was walking up A anyway as like a fallback policy. And then if Mad Lions actually get the B picks, he's coming in on a flank to kill the rotation. So that's a nice, uh, nice fullback uh, strategy for, for Mad Lions if things don't go their way. And well, things go their way. 2-0. Zeus up for Rops. Playing close on short corner as well. We've got a five-man setup on this A site. That smoke on short. Roy's going to hide in it. Oh, they go right past him. The flash He's going to hear every single little footstep. But are they ready for him? Oh, no, he's got his back turned. Rose is behind him, but he's still going to get away with two kills before the P2K bites back. Mad Lions have taken the B site in the meantime. And yeah, this A lurk from Roy is really coming up top trumps here for Mad Lions. They've activated their trap card, and the B plant will be their third round. Someone let me know the name of the Glock, and it's a name that I love and try and keep my as well. It's the Bullet Queen, and so the RuPaul oh. ability to reference that just She's feels out. Bullet queen. There you go. I'm glad that you went with it, Frankie, because I was going to, and I didn't want to commit to it. Mad Lions, they got this third round, and they're going to be very, very happy with that one. 
bunch of super queens indeed as they go 3-0 and up. But now this investment's looking to come in for Mouse Sports, so we don't have to get worried just yet. But maybe there's time for that in the future. We'll wow. have to see. We've scheduled it in, we've penciled it in, but nothing's set just yet. Nice strong start though, and I, I'm I'm really expecting Mouse Sports to hopefully have done some work on this map coming into this tournament. If they don't, they could be in real trouble. And they wouldn't have been expecting it today because the last time they played this map was six months ago, wow. and it was with Bubskin Hunter in the lineup. So definitely a punish pick. Oh, look at Frozen as well. <laughs> he was looking at the uh, the top, and he only just sees him as Roy gets away with a double. That could have been a really good round for Mouse Sports uh, without those couple of kills, but albeit an eco. So. We'll sweep it under the rug and move on to the AWP on Rops. Interesting purchase coming in early over Woxic. wonder if that's position or just map dependent. We'll have to wait and see. Woxic's got the utility instead. It's going to be waiting in middle. Mad Lion's going out wide. Great spray down for Woxic, getting away with two. And even going back in for more, he's hungry. He's got Carrigan alongside him, smoked off in the elevator. Akel's found a gap. But Rops, how does that shot miss? That looked perfect. And somehow, some way, Mad Lions open up a mid to B. Roy with his pick, stuck on a one on three. Oh, Waxik tries to go back for more, but that's given the kill to Roy. Carrigan will follow up with the kill. Waxik already starting this game on good footing, and I'm a big fan of that, man. I feel like, you know, I, I've i always been a Waxik fan, like for a long, long while, even yeah. before moving into this Mavis squad. You know, Hugo, we used to cover a lot of like the events Waxik would be at earlier on in his career. And he was always such a big talent. And I remember when he moved into this squad, it was so exciting. And I feel like for me, I want to see some of these like old vintage Waxik moments. It does feel like, you know, since moving Ooh. to online play, we haven't had as many <gasps> of them. No. Rops was waiting for the boost. No. He was waiting. Uh, oh my God. Roy has just been anti-air gunned. Get out of here as we watch him fall all the way back down to earth. Wow. And unsurprisingly, he doesn't stick the landing. If that isn't a middle finger from Rops, I don't know what is. We need a replay on that one. This is the angle he was holding, but was that a flick shot or was he ready for the run boost? Have they done their prep? I don't know. I've never seen wow. anyone get caught mid no. there. Yeah, you normally at least land, even if you die yeah. right away, you know? Like, oh, wow. Okay, Robs. All right. I'm liking what we're seeing already with Robs and Woxic both showing some promising signs. I think we're in for an exciting series here. Yeah. It's going to be an A execute, though. That was the one lurk outside of B. Roy has typically been the uh, illusion, the one man on his own. Rosen getting mollied out. Oh dear, he's got to drop his molly and run away. Oh dear, burnt to 30. Innocent's got the sight. He's going to plant to the right. And that's a very open plant. So Carrigan spams through the smoke and hits it perfectly. Rops is not done with that orb. And oh boy, I love to see him on it. Second kill of the round. And now this is a very stuck spot for Mad Lions. They deal with a flank, but they still need to get the bomb. Asilian's retrieved it at the very, very least, but Rops, yeah, he's pretty scary with this AWP. He is pretty scary indeed. Shush trying to hold down the site, and while he is good for two, it's Rops delivering again. It's very interesting to me. Oh, hang on a minute. Here's the little run boost. Over he goes. Oh, so Rops is on the Rops. right. Okay, okay, now we get to see it. He's ready for it. Oh, my word. Look at Bad that, man. Roy. Shot down. Oh, my goodness. Don't worry, Who, sir. Our best man is on the case. Rob's just there, ready and raring to go. Who posts up for that? Who's like, yeah, okay, they're going to do the run boost in the first rifle. No way to the lobby. Honestly, Roy just got annihilated. Yeah, yeah, that Rob's. is beautiful. <laughs> he just posted up again. You're not going to get it twice, buddy. Once is enough. So we've been seeing Rops take this up more yeah. and more, like like a, a hell of a lot, like a noticeable amount of a, of a difference here. And Woxic feels like he's rifling more and more. I kind of like it. Like Rops is looking really good with the AWP. So it's a little bit scary. Just as I say that, of course, he dies to a pistol. Now this B-Site called into question and Chris J can't hold the line. An AWP retrieved onto Shush. And Woxic not no. able to take it away from them. Finally, the trade kill comes in from Carrigan, but Acor's straight away with that AWP in his hands. And there he is nailing the shot, trying to get the follow up. Frozen doing the damage, but now just has to finish off Innocent. Frozen dropping that Molotov, melting him down, and will grab the defuse. It's still a very, very close round for Mouse, uncomfortably close. 
when you look at what Mad Lions bought into it. Yeah, really nice play from Frozen as well. He considers that left cubby. Maybe someone makes a call or he realizes, but he never actually saw Innocent cross. He didn't really know once he hit the gen. So gambles the Molotov 50-50 there, and he makes the right call. 3-3 three, three to Mouse Boards. And the Orb almost loses him around, right? As much as Rops gets the opener, it gets handed over to Shush. He finds three kills, one of them being with the Orb. And then I, I think Acor was the one to pick it up right after and, and find another one to Carrigan. So almost a lost round against Deegs. But now Mad Lions, profitable for them. Back to the full rifles. Acor, he is an explosive Orb player. And taking on Woxit, getting tagged early on is not how he wanted things to start. Double Orb now for Mouse Boards. I like that. It's an expensive investment on the CT side of Vertigo where utility is a must. But right now, uh, oh, we're seeing both of these players able to use it. Acor down to 12. Adlines are going to crash their way back into the ramp. Carrigan is waiting short side. Frozen's already fallen back, and Woxic is nowhere to be seen. He's moved towards middle as Mousebot set up a double B. They're pushed very aggressively on B, so we might start to see a flank if Mad Lions continue to make noise on A. And Carrigan's curious. He wants the information. He's going to get it all. And the bullets that follow. Two opening kills for Mad Lions. No aggressive flank for Mousebot, so they rotate safe. Oh, Woxic just gets around the corner in time. And oh, little flick onto Innocent. He will delete him. Still creeping oh in. My. He even tags Shush through the box. And Acor's been given a couple of chances, but hasn't seized them yet. Woxic and Rops double up in this retake. Rops, I want to see what he can bring to the table here. They've lost Chris J. And now this double up in the two on four. Maybe if they knew how much damage Woxic had done, this would be attempted, but they don't. And so he is going to make a hasty retreat, try and hold on to the double up setup. Mad Lions, they're going to get a fourth round, and there at the A site, kind of crumbles on the back of Carrigan and Frozen, trying to double peak short side to get that information. Mad Lions were just grouped up with all four players down at short. Yeah, that's why you see so many teams just default to 3A, especially when you have an AWP on B, right? If you have an AWP B, you can easily do what Robs has been doing, post up towards the stairs. You have so many fallback measures towards the site to play gens. You can even give it up, give up B and play retake. Uh, but yeah, double B set up for mouse sports. They, uh, they've lost it before, so not wanting that to happen again. I wonder how we'll see that adjust. If Mad Lions continue to hit this A site, I imagine Mal's put three there moving forward, even with this double AWP in play. So what's the plan? A quick pause before we get into the action. The money is lost here for Mouseports, relying on the double orb more than ever now as pistols come around them. Yeah, I want to know what you make of this, um, you know, because I don't think the ROPs on the orb is affecting Woxic as such. The thing that interests me more is how it's affecting the likes of like Chris J and Carrigan, who, you know, I feel like you could easily make a case for being the players to don that secondary orb. How do you feel about them putting it in the hands of ROPs? Yeah, star player, right? He's the guy you look to, so I'm all for it. He's, he's clearly, uh, the, the the results are there, right? He's clearly hitting his shots. And yeah, okay, Chris and Carrigan, they've they've orped for some time in the past, but, you know, the, the reason they're here is not because they're orpers, it's because they're capable riflers. Uh, and you know, these guys have always been able to set up players like Rops, like Frozen, like Woxic, and so I'm all for it. I, You know, give Rops what he wants, man. He wants a pay rise, give him a pay rise. He wants an orp, give him an orp. <laughs> Just anything to keep him there. Yeah. Anything to keep Rops happy. Oh, well, Chris Jay's not happy. He's been shushed down in this round. Rops backing away, trying to watch for this boost. He seems so ready for everything. And just as I say it, he looks away now. It's going to require a little bit of fancy flick work indeed if Shush goes a little bit wider here to try and peek. Oh, he sees yeah. the bag. Rops, he's got an eye for fashion. Tags a Cillian for 20 damage. What? A Cillian's wearing some kind of new armor. That's disgusting. Rops, you've been cheated there for the second time now on this AWP, it feels like. They, they do need to give him real bullets. You know, that's the, uh, that's the part they're missing out on here. It's so hard to see through that railing. Rush does a good job of uh, going to X-ray to show us how difficult it is to, to look down or look up through it. Right now, it's a B execute for Mad Lions. They are moving up with all five players. Rops is going to get flashed off. Great utility from the T side. And Frozen can't see a thing. Oh, dear. He hits a tag. These orbs, they're only doing damage. They're never finding kills. 
Grenade does a nice chunk onto Roy, pushing through this smoke. Karen gets the orb, but he also gets silenced. And Frozen might look uh, want to look to save. They are rushing him down, and more damage, but no kills. Only Shush caught on the exit, and it's traded swiftly after. This is a Mad Lions that looks dangerous. And if you wanted to only do some damage, you think you'd spend 1,700 on a scout and not the five grand on the orb. <laughs> but uh, hey, you know, <laughs> this is... It feels very unfortunate for Mowers, right? The amount of tags we've seen. There was two in that 3v4 retake. There was two in this round again as the push comes in. I like how Mad Lions aren't falling into the trap of just hitting A every single round, right? They actually have some really nice B executes. We saw one from Big yesterday in that very quick game versus NIP. There was hardly a T side for Big to watch after they 12-3 their CT side. Uh, but they had yeah, the same smokes. Jens, either side smokes. Molotovs on default. Molly to the back of the site. And at that point, there's nowhere to play as a CT, especially not on AWP where you have to just stand still, scope up, hit your shot, fall back. There's nothing to do, right? Think about the, the amount of positions left open. There's the wood close where you're going to get wall banged. There's the bit here that Rops is standing on that you can also get wall banged on. And Mad Lions have been boosting up in that position as well. So they're really forcing uh, Mouse Sports out of the site. It's a difficult one to retake as well. So if Mad Lions have more tricks up their sleeves, this could be a very difficult game for the European mix. I say that. That's now both rosters, I guess by definition, with a Polish player recently joining a Danish roster. Shush is ready for this flank. And he hasn't seen anyone just yet, but Mouse Sports have pushed three players down the ladder in behind. Frozen getting a kill on A is only going to pull the attention away from this flank, but Shush goes back to it at the right time. Oh dear, it's not the right shots. Wox takes uh -oh. him down. These pistols are finding success. Okay, Innocent might bail them out. At least he deals with Chris J, who gets uncomfortably close up through ramp and Innocent's even aware that Woxic, another man, was here on the flank. There he is, he finds him. And now the pressure is kind of off, but but only briefly. Like, it's not a it's not a man pressure now, it's time. 20 seconds left on this clock and they are running. They are sprinting. They're running the gauntlet into this B site, but Mouse Sports, they're going to beat them here. And now all the players meet in B. They try and get across. Deagle going to miss its shot, but Frozen doesn't. It's just pistols here for Mao's Acorn left in two, it, and he needs one. the kill, but Rops has hidden himself away. And Mao Sports, they steal that one from the Mad Lions. Eco. My word, it is just pistols to get Ooh. it there. Yeah, I'd be feeling the same right now, man. That's uh, that's not a, a good round for Mad Lions, right? I love the rotate back, but but the issue is with Vertigo is there's so much noise, it's so loud. And so Mouse Sports, not only could they have the option of going aggressive and getting the guns and hunting them down, but uh, as well as that, you, you hear them running back down the ramp, you look at the time, you go, yeah, they have to go beat, we're gonna beat them there, let's do it. And uh, some great shots from the USPs and the P2Ks as well, really puts Mouse Sports in control. Karagan, you crazy, crazy man, is he gonna get flashed down here. There's no one to do it. There it is. Frozen moving in and Carrigan goes aggro. He does catch Roy. And so Mad Lions actually get out of there alive. Great decision to oh, move away that. from the ramp. It's smoked off. And so that means Mouse Sports uh, can start to pad the other sites. What on sh What a shot. What? Carrigan just got wall banged from, from a wall bang that shouldn't even exist. He's getting out of there. He's like, right, well, I'll leave ramp to you guys. Good luck. Uh, I hate it. I frankly hate it. And so he's entrusted his, his number one man, Frozen, with the job. Frozen don't like it either. I don't blame them. I, I love the smoke going down because that is like just a big reminder to Mad Lions. Like, yeah, we took ramp away and what? But then, you know, I guess you kind of, you poke the bear, the bear bites back. Acor with the wall bangs has forced them away from ramp from. This has wasted precious time for Mad Lions and has really slowed down any offensive they were trying to run. This did mean that Mouse Sports lent very, very heavily over towards B and mid, anticipating that on the back of losing ramp, Mad Lions might try and pick up the pace and hit one of these other sites. So we'll have to see if that if that kind of rotation comes back to punish Mouse. It feels, it feels like they're adjusting to it oh, now. No. Woxic? Woxic is barrel. Oh, shush. Oh. Like a T-Rex, but you can only see it when it's moving. Woxic. Oh, just out of the way. Oh, dear. And he is still alive somehow. Woxic, they know you're here, bud. They really do. Like, this gun is a little too long. Acor hops up no. and does get taken down. It's a one for one, but they lose drops back in the bomb site. B has fallen, and a plant going to come on through. 
Yeah, we still got that lurk on the A site. Cillian's hiding in the smoke as they fade. Frozen isn't falling for it. He isn't rotating, but he's now losing time as this bomb ticks away over on B. There's the flank dealt with. That can open up this retake. Carrigan and Frozen both so low, and Shush is going to push them back on his own. Frozen has to save. And wow, this is a, such an interesting game of Vertigo right now. It's playing like nothing I've ever seen before. The battle for the A ramp control, the mind games of these fakes, Mad Lions, they retake that A site. They throw the execute smokes back to B, finding the entries. And like you said, Harry, yeah, Woxing, that, that's something that, you know, if you're going to play that position, you should know. You can't have an A1S there. Your, your barrel's going to stick out. Even with the A4, you get spotted so many times. Take uh, the silencer spot. off. I want to see it. Yeah. Let's go. Honestly, it's better than, than giving away your position. Even though Shush doesn't get the wall bang, I feel like Mad Lions, you know, they throw Acor at the problem. He jumps in, he dies. Definitely didn't need to do that, but it's traded and they kill Rops on the site as he, he gets caught moving with the orb. That's happened twice now. Rops has had some key orb shots. Don't get me wrong, but he's also been caught moving with that weapon. Sometimes it's better to just sit back, relax, and uh, wait for them to come to you. Unfortunately for Mouseports, it's another lost round with one saved gun. They're going to buy around it here. What else can they do? Hard Lions never rushing this A site, never moving up ramp early. They want to see what Mouseports do first because the CT side has been pretty proactive. Carrigan saw the bomb there. So good bit of info. We still have three on B for Mouseports. And so that's an interesting decision here. They have yeah. been dealt a lot of fakes so far. It looks like they want to push, right? That's why they've grouped everyone up. You can see them there. They're, they're like moving uh, like, like a boy band down here towards B ramp, all next to each other, snapping their fingers as they go. Let's get it into ramp. And now they're going to try and come in on this flank, but it's going to arrive far too late, surely, right? Like this, this A site needs to hold its ground and it's going to struggle to do so. That's it. The round's over. It's done. There's no flank. There's no nothing for Maus. Mad Lions, they're going to get a seventh here and now because it is just these three players remaining. And at this point, like you're surely thinking about saving. Rops is going to take a peek in. But he's a smart man and he's not going to overstay his welcome here at the A-bomb site. The ideas are looking great for Mad Lions. You know, they, they've clearly come into this game with a game plan. And that's so important when you're facing a team with so much individual talent on like Mouse Sports. So much experience as well. But on a map like Vertigo, it's not like Carrigan has, uh, you know, a decade of, uh, of strategy to fall back on. Those guns are going to be saved towards B for free. Mad Lion's not hunting. They've yet to really build up a huge economy, right? This game has been somewhat back and forth. And then back again, 7-4. to four. Lots of bombs uh, exploding here for Mad Lion's. So what do we have here for Mouse Sports? Another eco. Still no money after that previous round force. Acor's not really had to do a whole lot. He's five and five with the AWP, and considering the orping that we've seen prolifically on Mouse Sports, the double orp from time to time, that's uh, I mean, it's a welcome sign. It means your game plan's going right. You're not even relying on him to get picks because Mouse Sports aren't giving you those fights. I would love Woxic or someone to try and like push the boat out in mid a little. We do have Innocent actually holding it in this round, but that's one of the first times we have someone. Yeah over towards this side of the map, actually keeping an eye on it. Also, that's the best player to have holding mid on his own, right? Like, you know, you obviously don't want Mad Lions, the four Danish players, coming in Danish too much, because Innocent does need that info. But, you know, there's going to be a level of familiarity and, and you know, better communication between these guys. So Innocent, he can play those lurk roles, he can play those positions on his own uh, to better effect. It's the right way of spreading out this uh, this defense. I say defense, it's T-sided, but with the way that Mad Lions have been playing slowly on this T-side, could argue that. Oh, the first step, Shush hears them. Does he know? He checks it, frozen caught in the corner. There's two more players on B falling back, and now Mouse Sports might want to second guess. They're going to keep the AK here on the wrong side of the map as the bomb goes A. Chris J holding his ground in with a double and actually now might make this round feel doable for Maus. Acor up on ramp, not being given anything just yet, but Carrigan here in the site going to get flashed for a peek oh, and yeah. it's actually a Cillian's flashbang that deals Acor a rough hand. Dink for Carrigan, M4 retrieved and another kill leaves it in a 1v1. They've set Rops up to try and clutch this round out. He has a kit and a flashbang. That there could prove to be so important. In oh, yeah, this clutch, Asilia not putting the bomb down, trying to go aggressive, might even try and wrap B here. Has no idea where Rops could be. And he's bypassed him perfectly, running into mid. Rops has heard the footsteps and now tries to play catch up. In towards the B site, Asilia goes. Rops in hot pursuit here. 
Vasilian bomb down, Rob's close. Oh, oh, he nails the shot. Eight on the board for Mad Lions as Vasilian wins out the clutch. And that was great. I feel like we just had like a police chase cam. <laughs> Ooh, that was cool. Helicopter lights, uh, they're, they're trailing him from above. Stolen car and Rops, he is going to fall short in the one-on-one. -on -one. That's such a shame as well, especially considering how long he held on to that B bomb site, right? His rotate to A was so late because uh, Frozen went down at the bottom of B by Shush's Lurk. So Mad Lions just really keeping this one entertaining and really keeping us on the edge of our seat, right? These rounds aren't, aren't always clean. They aren't always convincing, but they are coming through here for the Danes. Eight to four, nice strong T side, and no AWP here for Mouse Balls to respond. It's back to the flat rifles. They've moved back to a triple A, and I think this is definitely the solution for some of these rounds that we've seen from Mad Lions. Three players here, and even flashing Frozen in as well. The deep smoke is going to deny Mad Lions presence, but careful with the peak, because that's when Acor can come alive. We look at players like Searson on big. He does not miss this shot. Acor is a very talented AWPer. Ooh, that smoke actually bounces back. That is not what Roy wanted. It's not going to matter anyway. They were waiting in middle from the start of the round, so this wasn't an A attack from the get-go. Mad Lions are going to head out into mid with three against Chris J. Yeah, this spot for Chris is an interesting one. That Molly goes in, and so he just leaves at the first sign of trouble. Uh, now CT taken. Asilian, so Boy. fast. Surely they're not going to be ready for this. He's already in CT spawning. Oh! Roy's going to beat him to the punch, and Rops falls shortly thereafter. They split into B, and they do it very, very well. Everyone chiming in with the kill bar, Asilian. And it's only Frozen left. This is pretty devastating for Maus. These rounds have been uh, the last few. Okay, no, not the last round where it was down to the 1v1. But prior to that, you know, these have started to look very well orchestrated for Mad Lions. And it's making me a little bit worried here. Because clearly they still have a lot more to show us yeah. in this game. When we see mid to B plays like that, it's so often you just smoke off that deep mid or CT and elevator and you, you jump over the construction. And that can be a hard fight where a CT almost always gets one and, and either gets away or gets traded. Uh, Chris gets mollied off, he falls back safely, that's the right call, but Mad Lions, like you said, is silly and just Wing through CT spawn. I've never seen anyone play that like that fast, that confident into that position. It's almost like they knew the mouse boards were running a triple A setup. They'd seen two, they hadn't seen three. And so there was no support from you know Carrigan and Elevator like there usually has been when Mad Lions have taken middle. So uh, yeah, very confident and clearly knowing more than they should. Cillian gets behind enemy lines and Mad Lions come up into the B site. Rops is trapped to the pillar. And not only is that a spot where you don't have a lot of cover, but you can get wall banged out easily as well. You have to take fights. And well, Mouse Sports, they love taking fights. Sometimes they do do uh, well, I guess. Cillian getting caught in middle. Shush, entry into B. Mad Lions know they're against Eco, so they're going to flex their AKs and just burst into this bomb site. Pistols are finding something here. AK retrieve, Woxic burning, two of Crisp. He can't do a thing, and it's all on Carrigan. Yeah, Deagle's all he's got, but this could be a man's best friend. Carrigan behind the generator has to generate an enormous amount of power, and Roy. Well, not a fan. He's going to shut that one down before anything big can happen. Mad Lions reach double digits. It's 10 to 4. And Maus, this went from being like neck and neck, right? Early on, it was very, very back and forth. We were at, what, 4 to 5, and it was looking like this was going to be a competitive half. Well, suddenly, Mad Lions have just springboarded themselves into quite the lead. And every every single round has been something new, something different, whether that be the mid-round decision or like a fake from the get-go where they where they feign early A control. We've not seen Mad Lions run five up at the A ramp and throw those normal smokes at the start of the round like many teams do and like uh, Vertigo often falls into. So, so that's why this is a really fun game of Vertigo for a change. Woxic hitting the quick shot in middle. This is what we need him to do. Need him to double, but he's been flashed out and Chris J can't support either. Woxic going back in. Oh, it's a risky one, but it's going to pay off for another kill. Favoring Mouse Sports now. Rock's holding down the B site. Roy trades, and he's opened up a chance, but a knife out. Carrigan on the flank. of play. This pistol feels like a necessity if this game is going to go on any longer. So let's see if Mouse have it in them to surprise us moving into round 16. Ooh, those odds are good for Mad Lions considering the situation we're in right now. Again, they're only the first map of this series and their pick as well. Got new coming up as a second. And hey, if we go the full distance, which you know, considering how this series is going, is per uh, perfectly possible. Could be trained.
But let's stick with it here in the now. It's Vertigo. It's the T side for Mouse. They're playing a similarly slow A side Cruel with the bomb outside of B. It's going to leave the rejoin, regroup with the rest of Mouse Sports. And boy, talking of regrouping, Mad Lions have taken a page out of their book. Four on this site. What a gamble, what a risk. But considering how well Shush is playing, I don't even blame them. He's got like 21 kills right now. And he's even leaving B. Mad Lions, they've got X-Ray on. They know what's happening. They're in the heads of Mal Sports. He is holding for a mid lurk and listening out for B footsteps. But right now, there's nothing to be heard. But Mal Sports creepy crawling up A. Innocent and Acor with this with this bait and switch setup at short. I love it. I think this could do so much damage because you deal with Innocent and then Roy's even here to pull even more attention away. You are never going to be ready for Acor oh, so close, oh, and there baby. he is doubling up. That is such a such a sick setup from Mad Lions for an A play. They draw the attention into the bomb site. They bait you in with the first man, and then if you weren't interested in that A site enough, there's even a second drawing the attention in more. It allows A core to just close the gap and absolutely blindside Mouse. It's 11 on the board for Mad Lions and a damn near flawless pistol at that. Mouse Sports coming in with a force by really just throwing whatever they can yeah. at the wall and seeing what sticks at this point. This force by screams of desperation as well, right? Double scout, three deeks. It's not like you've got a bomb on, you're forcing up with, you know, two, two, three rifles. This is just hoping that things go your way. And why would they with how Mad Lions are playing? The communication is great. The ideas are there. They're flashing each other for picks on this B-bomb site. And they've already removed Woxic from the round. Frozen taking uh, his own scout. Chris has picked up the one from the body of his teammate. And just nothing getting given over. The second deep smoke on A, one falls on B. Shush does get a bit aggressive and Rops catches him with a deagle. Mad Lions, not out of the woods yet. Don't need to hunt down these kills. Got to be careful. Innocence low as well. Now Sports are going to be setting up utility towards B. There's the flash. Rops moving in. Got to check close right. It's a hard angle to clear with gens and scaffolding being uh, an option as well. Asilian. Oh boy. He catches one in the air. Frozen will trade. The bomb's been spotted and dropped. Mouse Sports walking into a triple setup here with another flash out. It gets worse by the second. Good utility, but Rops is patient. Double scout here to save the day. These two have got to work in tandem with these scouts to get damage off. Missed oh. shot from Frozen as Roy just darts in. There's Ooh. a kill from Rops and now down to a 1v1. It's the 4k needed, but he needs to hit this shot and just dancing around. It's Roy, master of the two-step. Rops even lower, one HP, and he can't make it work. It is the round for Mad Lions, 12 to 5. And whoa, no wonder they're winning, man. Look at their movement out of the server. <laughs> We're in the matrix right now. All the simulation, none of this is real. But no, I don't want to take away any uh, any credit from Mad Lions. This is such a great game of Vertigo from them and from Mouse Sports. They might even already be thinking about Nuke. They've got rifle rounds yet to play, but they will be delayed off the back of that force buy. And despite, you know, more signs and more showings of individual brilliance from Mouse Sports, there's never a doubt there. It's not going to carry you through a map like this. Frozen boosted up. There is some aggression for Mad Lions. Ooh, maybe. Just maybe. I think he knows. I think he's seen something. A little head sneaking through, but no kill. Acor's pushed. You can spam his position with the orb with the deagle. But, uh, you know, will Mouse Sports be ready for that is still a question. They're holding Deegs towards B as well. Woxic is also looking for kills. Shush is yet to give up his position. And Asilian is baiting them in. Can even flash a peek for Shush as well. No need. Shush goes out dry and takes that frag. Acor drops one of his own, giving up his position and falling all the way back. Roy is supporting with the M4 from a range. And Acor tucked into this spot. This is a great angle. You catch players as they jump up from short mid-air. Or you just swing out and kill Frozen. So, yeah, this is just one by one. Mouseport's absolutely falling in every single one uh, engagement. Finally winning something, but... I think it's too little and too late. Asilian's the only guy in a jersey. He's like trying to take this seriously and everyone else is strolling up like it's casual Friday. Well, it is Friday. Maybe that's why. I didn't even know what day it was. I've nailed it without meaning to. Sports life.
Casual Friday in the Mad Lions office. You love to see it. Cillian didn't get the memo. Wow, Mouse Sports. It's feeling more like Freaky Friday right now because this could be a bit of a defeat. As Cillian opening up with a kill onto Robs, no less. Man advantage taken and he just leaves mid. That is super aggressive yeah. as well. Like, like runs the gauntlet in through middle, gets away with a kill and now has Mad Lions in a very, very good spot indeed. And I think that's just showing the confidence of Mad Lions already. Think about how we never saw that from Mousesports. The only time they ever flanked on their CT side was a full eco that they... I, did, I can't remember if they won it or if they came down to the 1v1 and Rops lost it on B, but they, they pushed A and they got loads of kills of the USPs and P2K. So, yeah, it's just, you know, Mad Lions are feeling confident. Ma Mousesports don't look like they're, they're normal selves. And Innocent is just ridding them of this round three in the middle. Uh, great individual prowess right now from Mad Lions. What are you talking about, oh, Harry? There's, there's more jerseys. jerseys. I, I was questioning see the it. guys on the end. All right. Split right down the middle, but not in the scoreline. This is one-sided as one-sided gets. Flawless CT side from Mad Lions, keeping it up. That was Mouseport's first and maybe last rifle round. They might even just force here being up against 14. Yeah. What else can you do? AK on two, uh, pistols on the rest. I think as well, like, you got to think about the differences in pressure. Like, Mad Lions, yeah, they, they they win Flashpoint. They look really, really good there. They, they have good results, but then they lose Bubski. Then they have, like, you know, there's this weird period of the roster where I feel like the expectations are a little bit lower, whereas for Mouse, like, this is a team that is underperforming, it feels like, right? And has been for a little while. So uh, I, I feel like you look at the names in the Mouse Sports squad and you're always expecting more. And I think for Mad Lions, any kind of good showing here at ESL 1 Cologne would be a victory in and of itself, considering the roster turmoil that they've had to go through on the back of losing Bubski. And I think it's going to uh, really increase like the value of these players if they are able to make a deep running, considering the, uh, the situation they find themselves in. It's going to be a B play here from Mouse Sports. They set up outside of the site, dropping that Molotov to try and clear a player out close. Rops. Oh, careful. This is scary. It's got very wide. A long way down, buddy. It's a long way down. And Rops boosted up, trying to deal with these players in the site. A nice little angle to find Shush. Nassilian still here, holding down the line, leaves it into a four and four. He did spot Chris J, get a little bit deeper than he was ready for. Woxic actually blinding Chris J there. Still going to get the kill. Frozen, kneeling with Roy, and there's just flashes everywhere. It's a two on two in the blink of an eye. Rops pushing close to this smoke. Gonna try and make a difference. And there's Innocent on the angle. Drops the bomb with that kill. Just frozen oh, left. No. But Mad Lions, they think he's in middle. They Time. This is scary. They've gone back. They've given up the site. Not that Frozen's gonna be aware of that, though. And as this time ticks down more and more, it starts to become a bit of a curse because now they just rush him. They just go in together. They know Frozen is to stick the plant. And there's Innocent with the frag. 15 for Mad Lions. Map point. For the Dane Paul mix. Yeah, Innocent's looking really good as well, right, on this team. He's he's uh, second or second or third, sorry, in, in terms of frags, but he's getting a lot of crucial kills. We saw him on the lurk in that first half, just kind of holding mid, doing his own thing. Uh, and right now, yeah, he seems very confident. He's very comfortable, and that's what we wanted here from Mad Lions. Boy, oh boy, what a performance. 15 to 5, Mouse Sports, sleeping at the wheel, waking up on the wrong side of bed. Opening kills in favor of Mad Lions, multi-kill rounds in favor of Mad Lions, doubling up against Mouseboards. Acor is going to deep nade ramp. One player is already up pretty close. And I don't know if they've realized it yet. Mad Lions going to fall into the site so they don't lose any lives early on. Roy is still posted up crane side. Carrigan walking once again into this quad A stack. It feels like wherever Mouseboards go, Mad Lions are ready for it. This is a sweaty setup. How on earth are you supposed to peak ramp into three players holding the same position? They're going to move one over to short. Makes sense. Pressure with the nades, and everyone's flying. Even Roy getting flashed by his teammate, but he still gets a kill before it pops. Double orb needed to survive now for Mad Lions as Asilian is the last rifle flashed back into his death. Robs has gotten good ground towards B, and Shush has just left this site. We saw him float away on the pistol, and that didn't matter, but now it does as Mouseport's own B. Oh, but Rops is making noise, and oh no, that's him removed, frozen. Goodbye, my friend, and Mad Lions, they 